Hey, hello. Beringer just released a new update for the 2XM module. Um, if you want to get it, you can find it on the Beringer website um, for the 2XM. In the software section, you can find the download for Synstripe for Mac and Windows, also the firmware release notes, um, and there's a documentation section as well. Uh, there's a yeah a explanation how to use um, the 2XM in polychain mode. And one thing, if you wonder, I got some questions before um, because of the different colors of the devices. Uh, that's why this one is a production unit um, from the store, and this one is a beta test unit. Like um, on the inside, it's more or less the same, but it's just um, a work in progress design. So um, it has a different color. Um, if you now buy something new, they have all the same color, so no worries. Yeah, before it wasn't really possible to use multiple devices in a polychain, um, like to play it polyphonically, um, because each single note was tr triggering a uh, both modules of one unit which means um, yeah you see each module uh, each unit here has two modules like two voices and I was expecting before if I have two units then I can play four voices but I could only play two voices and uh, my workaround was to use Bitwig for that um, I have made another video where you can find the link in the description but now with the new update, this is outdated. Um, I'll leave it in there just for reference. But yeah, this is um, the new way to do it. Or now it works, so you don't need any workarounds anymore. You just can connect it. Um, in my case, I connected it via USB to the computer. Um, and it's uh, getting the MIDI input from USB. And then via MIDI out, you go from one module to the next one to MIDI in, connect it, and then you uh, have to activate um, the polychain in Synthtribe. And yeah, then it should work. Uh, let's try it. So I have set each voice to um, the same parameters. So it's just a sawtooth, the filter is wide open. Um, it's just a single oscillator and yeah in logic um, in the input you can hear it's um, spread it all over the spectrum so um, or all over the panning um, so one voice is on the left one more in the middle and so on and the last one is on the right yeah let's see how it works so the first voice so it comes from the left the second one is coming from the right Yeah, that's awesome. Now you can hear four voices. That works awesome. And um, also now uh, you have a real round robin mode, which means each new trigger will, um, yeah, each new note will trigger the next module in a chain. So. Um Can you hear that? Let's put it that one to pulse wave and maybe that one to a narrow pulse wave. Let's see. Yeah, I think you get the idea. Um, and that is really useful now because now you can really create yeah, pads and stuff and chords, um, which is great. So let's try how that works here. Sounds great. Let's tweak the filters a bit. And maybe some portamento. Maybe a bit longer on the release. Cool. 
Uh, let's add some reverb, maybe. Mm -hmm. 